Can we get some light, Frank? Yeah, let me get this I don't know where Jack's at. Is he showing up anytime soon? I haven't heard from him. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Are we... Yeah, let me get some this wire's not in the shot, is it? No, I'll get that out. All right. Let me just run this down one more time. We have uh, Bo versus Duke, um, the country in the six. Oh, glad you could get here. One time. We're doing the go-home show. Where's your notebook? Why would I bring a notebook tonight? No button-up shirt? What? Oh, I guess you're wearing the Wally Fun shirt. Okay, so what? Let's run down these matches one more time before we start filming. We have uh, the country, they're fighting. Uh, we have the six man tag. Wait, why are, you, we, why are we going over this? We're doing the go home show. We have uh, Monsoon, Monsoon and Slater, um, Joey. What are you doing? What are you doing here and why are your pants coming off? I don't know what he's doing. I'm here to promote the show this Saturday. Yeah, the Magnum Pro and Soul Auditorium. You can get tickets at magnum-pro.com. It's the yeah, Lolly Fun Show, yes. Lollipops and But what is he doing? I don't I don't know. I, I know you wanted us to do this promo because the show is this Saturday. Right, no, tickets yeah. on sale for only up, $10. Buddy? No. Um, well, no. Well, we're getting wrapped up in here, so if you want to come inside. Come on in. Yeah. Come on in. Let's go. Yes. You're going to be hot wearing that, man, for training. I'm not training. Training? What are you doing? Hello, Magnum fans, and welcome to a very special edition of Between the Ropes. I'm Jack Lubash, and my guest today isn't quite yet an official member of the Magnum Pro roster, but that all changes on May 9th at Lollipops and Elbow Drops when he signs his contract. Ladies and gentlemen, Vic Victory. Vic, thank you, you for being here. No problem. May 9th, uh, Lollipops and Elbow Drops. Uh, Strife said that we are going to open the show with your contract signing. Is this going to be a bittersweet moment for you to finally sign your name on a Magnum Pro contract for a full-time spot on the roster? I don't know if bittersweet's the word. Um, it'll be It'll be interesting. Uh, to see the reaction of Jason Strife. I mean, I'm sure he had no intention of having to get a contract for me. I mean, he he, he thought he was going to beat me, no questions asked. So I, I think it'll be interesting more than than bittersweet. Um, but I will I will enjoy signing it. That's for sure. Do you feel Jason's got something up his sleeve for this or? I never know with him. I mean, he's he's kind of up in the air most of the time. You, you can never really tell what he's got going on in his head. But he's been my friend for a really long time, so I'm I'm going to think he's going to keep his word, hopefully. So what does this bad boy do? You want to find out what that does? Oh yeah. Watch you watch him? Stay away from that. Yeah. Well, first good. thing on my list here I got to talk about is Vic Victory. Of course, Vic Victory. Uh, he did beat you, I know. I don't really want to say that, but. Sorry, you said, you're just reporting the facts. You're just doing your job. Well, at Dinkers, uh, when you had a chance to sit down with them, you said you'd be a man of your word and give him the contract. Is he, in fact, going to be part he of is, the Magnum? He is. And as a matter of fact, we're going to open the show in the ring with his contract that he is going to sign in front of everybody that cheered him on to beat me because that's the kind of man that you are don't touch me okay all right i see where this is going ah okay so speaking of big victory okay. is he going to be in action when's the when's the first time i know he's going to sign the the contract he's going to be in action that night we'll have something for him yes he'll be in action at lollipops and elbow drops can you spill the beans and tell us who he's going to be wrestling just going to have to be there to find out hey. It's supposed to be numb down here. Numb? Oh, that means we're right at about the right spot. Ah! Ah! About Jason Strife. You guys weren't at the last show. He's the owner now. I had a suspicion. Can I cuss on here? Go, go. Oh, hell. What he meant? Yeah, Bo's real mad. Hey. Well, come on. Come on back. 
Uh, well, you had to take a you had to take a nap because you got thrown through hell. Well, here's the thing: uh, Nebraska Athletic Commission. That's a lot to get out. Uh, has cleared me to come back and fight again. So I'm gonna be there on the ninth. All the pops, double drops, maybe a clothesline or two. So big Sean Nautilus. I hope he's there too. Cannonballs? Oh, cannonballs all day. RPG! So, I'm uh, sorry, I'm drunk. So we got told we couldn't come, and I guess that was per Jason Strash. Yeah, we were told Stoddard's assistant, which was not real, and then it turns out to be Jason, Jason Strife. So is Jason Strife having an assistant that's emailing people? Was it Jason Strife? That was it Jason us? Strife? I guess what we're overlooking here is the guy who knows that Gots and Cornells are, are cornerstones of the company. They told us not to show up. So we got a problem with that. We haven't put a whole lot of thought into it because we like to think with these a little bit more than we like to think with these. So we're going to figure it out on the 9th, I reckon. I think May 9th, whether we're invited or not, you're going to see Guns and Beer there at SoCo Auditorium, and we're going to tear s*** up. Guns up. Yee -yee. Beers down. Yee -yee. Well, let's talk about this one. I don't really know why this match is taking place. It wasn't that long ago. I don't know why that little dude was whining. This is nothing. Well, let's talk about guns and beer. I mean, not too long ago they were fighting for the tag team titles, and now you're making them fight each other? What's the reasoning behind this? The reason behind this is because they seem to think that they can just run their mouths and talk and say whatever they want without consequence. Fortunately, that isn't how I do business. Back in January, I rid the company of poison when I beat Hype Gotti. Uh, you did. Don't touch me, especially after you've been holding your testicles. Sorry. You sissy. So why would you break up one of the most popular tag teams? I didn't in all break up. West? I didn't break up Guns and Beer. Guns and Beer are breaking up Guns and Beer. I mean, I see the fans wear the T-shirts, the merchandise is selling, the posters are selling. I'm sure they've lined your pockets pretty well. Why would you want to end the one of the greatest tag teams in all of professional wrestling? Because I'm making an example. Now, I can't concentrate with you blabbering yeah. in my face. Come on. He's stretching. He's warming up. Get out of here! That's a creep. Soon we meet again. Huh? Not so tough this time. Huh? You wanna choke me out? You wanna put me in a cranium club? Huh? huh? Just because I pissed my pants, you think you're better than me? Huh? Choke you. Next time I'm gonna yes. choke you. Yes. 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 What? I don't know. This is the most ridiculous thing we've ever done. We're supposed to film the show for lollipops and elbow drops. I know you're talking about Monsoon, so let's talk a little bit about Monsoon. So we take it on Slater, one-on-one, -on -one first time. Yeah. I mean, you, you were in the ring with him. Yeah. Well, you, know, you know what Slater's going to do? He's going to do what I couldn't do. He's going to take him out. He's going to end Michael Monsoon. Trust me. I saw you working on the bag. Can you give us a little preview of uh, Slater and Monsoon here? You think you're ready for this? Huh? It's just all it's going to take is, is one punch. Man, he's down, just like that. And he's going to punch his head, and he's going to send him home. Just watch. You watch. Jack Lubash here at the Magnum Performance Center, where I have a special interview today. It's going to be a very special edition 
of Magnum Pros be between my lit between the ropes. Our special guest, Red Wing. Red Wing, how are you doing? Good. Um, Good. Thank you for taking time out of your training here. Uh, I, I'm going to get right into it. Past couple shows, you've had two chances at Devin Thomas. You've fallen short. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, I cannot fault Devin for trying to maintain and keep the Magnum Pro title. I don't like how he won. I'm not happy about it. Once someday, me and him will finish that. Now, Devin's ways of winning weren't exactly probably the way he wanted to win. They were kind of cheap wins, if you will. How, how do you feel about that? Do you fault him for that? Like I said, you can't fault him for wanting to keep the title. And like I said, someday we're going to get to that. But I've got other issues I have to, call, I have to solve first. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's talk about that. There, there's a man who debuted at the anniversary show named Abu, and obviously he's got his sights on you. You know, you, you two have, have... Hey, what's up, guys? What are you doing here, Anthony? You're, you're here for my interview, right? No, I've got an interview with Red Wing, which you are clearly interrupting. Frank, remember we had our interview here in a little bit? Well, we got this going. Who are you interviewing? What? what? Just in a minute. I'll just, I'll just wait until you guys are done again. You here to watch me get interviewed, or are you here putting me over? Is that what's going on? You here talking about me? This is fantastic. Must be my lucky day. Come on, guys. No, let's not do this here. There's, there's no reason to do this right now. Okay. There's always a reason to no, do this. No, no, no. Let's save it for a Magnum Pro Wrestling. You know what? You need to get out. for you a whole lot of more well at the performance center I mean anybody can train here but remember it wasn't that long ago just yeah. a couple days ago Sheesh. Red Wing Abu in this ring we saw Abu took a weight to the knee of Red Wing, and you know, as of now, he's still medically cleared to wrestle. But I don't know what kind of condition he's going to be in for six months. Yeah, this is going to be a different contest. I mean, you have the country, who's pretty much a cohesive unit ever since Abu came in, and it's Red Wing coming in with this injury. I don't know how that's going to affect his action. I mean, we have Mikey Danger, we have Devin Thomas, and Red Wing. I don't know that they're going to be able to get along. They've never teamed before. The country, I mean, they're a cohesive unit. They've been on top of Magnum ever since they've gotten rid of one member and brought in a new member. So. Yeah, this is a, a serious side of the country that we usually don't see. They're, they're mostly about jokes and pranks. and You know how the old one, they tried to kidnap me at one point. But now with Abu, they're looking for gold. They want to take the tag titles. They want to take the world title. They want to run Magnum. Yeah. And they got to go through three men who, you know, Piggy in the Bank, Mikey Danger. We have Red Wing, who's right right on the cusp of getting that that championship and then we have the champion Devin Thomas well, like I said Red Wing is not going to be a hundred percent Devin Thomas I mean he's one of the best athletes in Magnum but I think Abu might be a little too much for all of them combined but we'll find out this Saturday so, this looks looks pretty fun you want to try? Looks pretty easy. You want to try it? You easy. punch or kick it? I saw you punch in the bag earlier. Yeah. You, want me to, you want me to try it? You want me to try to kick it? <laughs> Take notes, Douglas. You want to see him kick one. it? This is how it's done. You might want to prepare yourself. Yeah, you really want to train? Yeah, yeah right.
Yeah. All right, Jeff. Well, fans, this Saturday, Sokol Auditorium, lollipops and elbow drops. All the proceeds will help MS Forward and the Lolly Fund. Make sure you get your tickets at magnum-pro.com. Hurry up because they're selling out. They're on sale for $10. Come on, Jack.